Welcome everyone to the very first ASMR StarCraft 2 cast brought to you by me, Holyhead, and of course the one and only Gemini. Hello, it is me, Gemini, also speaking with a very low voice right now. A very beautiful voice indeed. This replay has been brought to you by the ATP community. We have in the top right the red Protoss. Apparently off racing, it is aroused by turrets. A truly beautiful name. You want to introduce the bottom left player? Yes. On the bottom left, he is the blue Terran player who is playing for Team Rotterdam. It is Baby Marine. Beautiful. Now we're already seeing some just amazing prop harassment going on at the barracks. A proxy gateway is being built as well. Truly some serene gameplay already going on. The Protoss Mastermind is seeping through aroused by turrets here. What do you think is going to happen in this game? I, th I think he's going to be really, really aggressive. I think he's going to push as hard as he possibly can. He's got two gases already, and I think it's going to be a... Oh, looks like it's going to be a zealot to start. I wouldn't be surprised to see even a proxied tech building to accompany this uh, this gateway here. Oh my god, wait, there's a pylon in the natural. What the... What? <laughs> a zealot and a pylon in the natural. That is absolutely crazy. We got it off the high-level Protoss gameplay. Let's see what tech building it's going to be after all. The CC has been cancelled. Beautiful. Factory being built as well. Wait, where's the... Is there a factory being built? No, that's actually the command center again. Oh. He, he, he rebuilt the command center on the high ground immediately. Oh, oh my it's going to be a proxied Stargate with batteries and pylons. Wow, now that is... If this isn't just the pinnacle of, of Protoss play, then I don't really, I don't know what is, to be honest. I think the pinnacle of Protoss gameplay, ironically enough, is the Terran building the factory in the Protoss base. This is the pinnacle of Protoss gameplay from both sides. The sheer batteries, the proxy factory, this is truly one of the best replays that could have been sent for the first ASMR cast. Yes. I'm really actually, I'm actually very excited. I, I'm, I'm curious as to what this factory is uh, supposed to be doing here. Do you, do you think it's going to be Widow Mines? Oh, it looks like it's going to actually be Hellions. He already answered my question. That's great. Thank you, Baby Marine. Uh, so I guess he's going to wait for a bunch of Hellions. Do you, do you think he's going to be prepared and to expect this, this factory play in his, in his main? Very, very unlikely. I think as the Protoss, he's probably too focused on what's going on in the front. I'm not mindful enough in what might be going on in the back of his mind, or in this case, the base. And this is kind of a metaphor for how the Protoss minds work, you know? The forge is being built. Yes. Maybe to defend with cannons, maybe to attack. We will never know until it's finally done. A Tempest is on the way as well. A high range unit able to snap things from afar. One Hellion has been built, but only one so far. The second is now on the way. I feel like he's gonna wait for three so that he can uh, one shot, but the, the Marines are doing their absolute their absolute best over here to push away the, the Void Ray in the Stalker for now. The Tempest will be definitely a, uh, a difficult thing to, to push away here. The Marines are. Oh, okay, never mind, I forgot. We do have shield batteries. Shield batteries are quite decent buildings to make. Looks like the cannons will be offensive, nothing defensive just yet. We've got two Hellions in the main base. Can the act, is he, is he like walled off there actually? Kind of looks like the Hellions are stuck. I think they moved but back there. Maybe they're not. To be as secretive as possible, I think they're gonna get out wow. just fine. Look at the <gasps> there he goes. And now we can listen oh. to the pro. Yeah. 
It hurts my soul. Every single probe. What? How? Is every probe dying? Oh my gosh. That was actually so much damage. I'm actually... I'm, I'm almost mortally wounded inside myself, to be honest. I, I'm connected with this Protoss player, and I too have felt the pain and loss of all of those those probes, as he is now down to just five, but the, the Tempest on the other side of the map are, are, are doing their best, hopefully to, to even this up a little bit, but the Hellions, they're just... Ooh, they're, oh, they're just... They just, they just won't stop. It's, oh, it's, it's, it's a massacre. Oh no. However, it does not connect only with one probe. So at some point, the Protoss will get at least one probe out again, start mining again. And he actually broke through the bunker. So a little bit of hope is left for the Protoss hearts and souls out there, all bound by the Kala. I, I, the, 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 the very important thing, though, is that uh, I don't think our wonderful, friendly Protoss player, aroused by turds, has noticed that there's actually been a second command center finished and lifted off to go somewhere else on the map. Actually, SCVs are even being lifted up now to, to go help mine from that extra base. This is honestly actually one of the weirdest games I've ever seen. <laughs> All things aside, this is actually... Uh, I, I have no idea how this is supposed to go as there's really not much production for either player at this point where Perseus or aroused by turds uh, he doesn't actually have money to, to make anything else but baby marine doesn't actually have any things to make with so this is actually a very strange situation to be to be found in indeed this you see is trying to move away all the buildings trying to flee from the protoss force with only two Vikings and a handful of Marines, it's going to be very hard to deal with the three Tempests if, if they do realize that there's a base on the left side. I do believe our friend Eros Hertz does not know yet. However, the Zealot is moving in and is going to fight the building. Medevac. Wait, but there was also a Medevac drop that happened and it got picked off by the Void Ray and the Stalker, but he did kill the Stalker in exchange for the Medevac, but having a Medevac alive at this point is definitely a very useful thing. He's actually going into the main base of the Protoss player. I'm not quite sure if this is actually the correct move, as now the Vikings are getting picked off by just the Tempest. Oh my gosh, there's just nothing. Paper Marines are just being forced to run around the entire map right now, and I, I don't really... I mean, he... He just doesn't have things that shoot up. There's nothing. And the sheep battery has been unpowered as well. We do see a recall happening. Three Tempests against a handful of Marines and they're all gonna get sniped. Listen to the sound of the Tempest doing their work. What an amazing display of skill. Of those Tempest pilots shooting at those small, small Marines. I'm actually kind of amazed at the amount of micro that we just witnessed between the, the Tempest and those Marines, that that interaction was just beyond even my own powers as a Protoss player. I don't even know how he could have possibly mustered such a feat, but he did, and now the, the Tempest are back on the middle of the map searching for anything that they could find. I, I, we're, we're just trying to find the base. He's actually landed it next to the, the original proxy, which is well, that's just about the worst place you could have put that. It's the command center baby arena. Not sure what you were expecting there. But, uh, yeah. There they go, the SCVs. Away again. We do have to respect the hidden starport, hidden in the main base. Building Vikings all by itself, trying to let the Terran survive. This you see, as you said, probably in the worst well, spot you could have put it, but it's okay. We all make mistakes. It's fine. The SCVs don't have a home anymore. Do we even have? No. No CCs left anymore. No mining possible. I think at this point, the Protoss should have a very clear path to victory with those Tempests. And, you know, probes mining. 
Oh my gosh, he's going on top of the units though. He actually gets one Tempest completely caught off guard. The second one also, I was saying, I was just thinking, if he doesn't actually return to the shield batteries, he's actually going to lose absolutely everything, the last Tempest. <gasps> oh my gosh, it doesn't actually get to the shield battery in time. And even though Baby Marine doesn't actually have any buildings except for a barracks and a starport, he's now just taken the most monumental lead of the entire game and he's walking across the map. There's just, just but a, a single void ray and a stalker that is being rallied across the map. I, I, I feel like, I feel like our boy aroused by turds is not feeling very aroused at this game. No, definitely not. We have two sheep batteries and overcharge batteries can do a lot. So let's see how this fight is going to go. The Vikings will try it again. Massive shots on the void ray. So far, nothing has happened. The fleet beacon going down. Probably not that important for this game. It's a dance. A dance of micro. A dance of skill. The Vikings even landing and jumping up again. Doing some squats to stay active, to keep their mind of things. I don't actually know why. Two Vikings in the air now, two Vikings on the, on the ground. This is high level gameplay. The she battery has been overcharged indeed. I was also actually wondering the same thing. I was very curious as to the choice of the two landed Vikings. Obviously they're very good against stalkers on the ground, but I feel like if we just kill the Void Ray, then I feel like this game is over. But unfortunately, because those Void Rays, or sorry, the Vikings are landed, we've lost a Viking now for, for free, almost. And what it looked like was now clearly a Baby Marine win is also now swinging immediately back over to Aroused by Turrets. And it looks like the singular G is being put down. And out of what seemed like nothing, what it looked like when all hope was lost, the one that is found himself aroused by turds is also now aroused by the pinnacle of protoss gameplay congratulations to perseus